Narcissists know this. This is why narcissists try to body swap, energy swap with you. They try to, you know, destiny swap. If you had narcissists, narcissists will not view you as their competition unless they see something in you. Which goes to my third reason and my sign. If narcissists have been viewed or have been, if people have been trying to compete with you, then that is because you have superpowers. People, a majority of people see you, you don't, you probably give yourself 20% less credit for what you have. So if you give yourself a C, a 70%, people see you as a 90. If you give yourself a 100, well, no, nah, there's not really over 100, but if you see yourself as, as an 80, people see you as a 100. Real talk, real talk, I promise you. So it shows that you're undermining yourself true capabilities. This is why you have superpowers. That is why you undermine and undercredit yourself because you don't see yourself as truly great because God doesn't like to boast. God is a, a humble individual. It practices humility. So you're not gonna boast yourself about what you naturally have because you naturally have it. So if you don't feel the need to brag, if you don't feel the need to, like, uh, what's the game? Puff yourself up, you know, boast your, boost yourself up, then that's because you have superpowers. Now, by all means, I'm not saying that you don't feel good about yourself, you don't, um, you don't compliment yourself on what you're good at. No, I'm talking about if you don't feel like you need to boast, if you practice humility, if you practice, you know, self discernment, if you are always raising yourself up and not focusing on what you did previously, but always challenge yourself in the moment, that's because God is guiding you to this. You have to, you have to pass tests. Which leads me to my fourth reason. If you've been passing test after test, it's because you're ready. You have the power. It's just now you're being aware of it. Others seen the power in you, just now you're seeing it yourself. Which goes to my fifth reason. Others see your power before you even see your power. If you're an individual that do not see your power, right? You're If you're being tested, right? It's because God is testing you for a purpose. God's not testing you just to just test you and then just leave it up in the air. No, God's testing you to see if you're worthy, which God already knew you're worthy. God just has to see how your heart is gonna play out. This is a test of heart. If you notice this, anything with superpowers is based off your heart. I'm not gonna give powers to people who do not have an active heart chakra. You said stoicism. God's not going to give power to you. I'm being real with you. God is not, especially right now. Maybe before God gave power to these individuals. But that just shows how much we're in the opposite than we was before. Before God, was, let me give you an example, which goes to my fifth reason. Everything has reversed. So the power that God gave to narcissists and people, individuals who did not deserve it, people who were going to, uh, people who abused it, right? God is doing the opposite now to balance the scales. So... Think of it like this, you now have the power because your heart chakra has been active. Your heart chakra has been there. And people, God wants to see other people's heart chakra and the fact that people, I would say karmic narcissists. These karmic narcissists has dealt their own cards. Now God, they've made the free will choice, right? To not have any powers. But it was already relevant before they came, right? God already knew this before they came. God just always gives you a chance to, what's it called? God always gives his children a chance to, uh, what's it called? Reclaim back, to fix it, to come around. Like God, God gives you chances after chance. I'm talking about the most high don't play. If you've done something bad, God gives you a chance to, what's it called? Make it right. That's why these narcissists, no, nah, you're good, you're good, you're good. See, that's what we're talking about. These, these racist narcissists, they don't have power. They don't have superpowers. They don't have the ability to know their power. They don't know their power. These people are too busy knowing your power. That's why they direct some kind of interference or egoicism to you. I like that word, egoicism. So that's why they direct it towards you, which leads me to my sixth reason of why you have superpowers and others, chances are, don't. Right, we got four more left. Make sure y'all like this video and we circulate the wealth. Come on, this is the RMCM, Rich Motherfucker Club. So come on, this is very, very, very highly important information. I recommend you listen to this only if you're ready. Not anybody can listen to this information. Only listen to this if you are truly ready. If you've done the work, if you 
make peace with your ego. If you are, if you're on the inside more loving than you have like hatred, then I recommend you listen to this. If you have a lot of hatred and you can't, you don't at least have 50% love in your heart, I do not recommend you listen to this. It will not benefit you right now. You won't be able to make sense of this information, okay? So the sixth reason of how you know you have superpowers is others compete with you in a way where they don't, <laughs> it's not like an official competition. They're competing with you behind the scenes. So meaning like, like you know signs of a person competing with you they're trying to make you look bad they don't want people to work with you they don't want uh you to know your power they don't want people to help you they don't want people to be your friend they don't want to they want to limit your capability but also limit the stuff that is presented to you this is how you know you have superpowers beyond this world because they know if you get a little bit of support ties up and you're gonna rise them up in others too they know that if you um you get the right kind of support right everybody's gonna be happy and then that's gonna make them look bad and if they're looking bad then there's no justification to their means of I would say hatred attack everything they did therefore it discredits them and they don't like that they don't like being discredited they want to feel like they're right I'm telling you right now you've been watching these videos I know you have superpowers you know you have superpowers the seventh thing is um if you've had like a tough childhood, like if you have had it rough, if you didn't have people around you, if you didn't have people supporting you, if you didn't have like, let's say father or mother figures, it's because you have a bigger purpose. And if you would have had that, you would have been actually, you would have been limited because you would have been comforted. You would not have been ready. You would not have been ready. But the eighth thing is how you know you have superpowers is you are honest and real with yourself. You don't, you don't lie because the thing is, you have to be upfront with who you are. People who are upfront, chances are they have the awareness and the vibration to be able to handle this. Not anybody can handle this. Our like our timeline is shifting, right? We're shifting in a timeline where more portals is opening up to where more things that we wasn't prevalent in our external in our previous reality is going to be more prevalent now. So, you're gonna see superpowers more frequently. Animals is gonna have superpowers if their vibration is high enough and they're resonating on the heart chakra. Heart chakra wins, always. That is the for sure chance. That's how, that is why God did. God did that because God wanted to make sure you wouldn't abuse this. God wanted to make sure it wasn't abused, it wasn't, you know, designated, uh, what's it called, designated in the wrong way. The eighth reason of how you know you have superpowers is you're constantly leveling up. You feel the need to push past your current limitations. If you're always growing, or all, yeah, you're always growing. That's what superpowers is. You are growing. If you are, what's it called, elevating instead of de-escalating, right? Sorry, I can't hear you because my cousins are screaming at you. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. If you are always elevating instead of de-escalating, then your superpowers are growing. You are a superpower being, right? And you are evolving. See, the thing is, when your cells expand and multiply, hence your energy and your vibration increases, hence you, you become more vibrational, right? This is because your superpowers, your cells have to expand, which is A, AKA neutrons and uh, electrons, AKA is atoms, is AKA nutrients, is AKA protons, which is protein. So if you're constantly multiplying, right? Then guess what? That's how you know your superpowers is growing massively, like beyond, beyond what you view right now. I always tell people when there's a spike in the shoes and resonance frequency, our light is brighter than ever today. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But also, when it's a spike, that means you're growing because the energy, the uh, what's it called, the uh, the energy that's being let onto the planet is shifting us quicker. So that is what's making our powers pop off too. So power is popping off, which means your energy is growing. If your energy grows, if you look at things as like love and shows gratitude towards it versus the opposite, then it's gonna grow. Obviously, if you focus on it in a negative way, what do you think is gonna happen? It's like you're you're draining yourself into something that you don't want. And it's like, obviously, if you drain yourself, you can't replenish yourself. You know, it goes against, you know, it's kind of, it's opposites. It's not, it's, they don't on the same court. They're not on the same frequency. That is why poor people don't get riches and rich people don't get poor. <laughs> your energy, yo, 
you're at and whatever frequency you're at when this shit shifts is the frequency that you're gonna be like like or i would say that you're gonna be matched with so if you're on a low 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 that's the frequency that you're gonna be stuck on unless you're able to do the work to get out so that's why i say this is so important yo make sure you guys show love don't forget to circulate the wealth of me we don't spend nothing we circulate it because if you're at a lower frequency when this uh, when this planet shifts over guess what that's the frequency that you stay at for i don't know how long it's a cycle until god comes christ consciousness comes back around to elevate those who are ready to be elevated again it's like a ship you missing your port your ship at port and you have to wait until it comes all the way around again i've, I've missed a couple ships i'm telling you right now, that's why i'm helping you guys not miss your ships meaning that truth rising you won't have to go to a place where it's called work. You will be doing what you want to do to attract and manifest because you're putting out an exchange. Because so work is just a means to exchange, a means to get money. Think of it like this. Work is you just to re receive money. That's all work is for. Work is just designed for you to get money. What if I told you that you get money just off of exchanging your energy. So whatever it is that you want to do, by you exchanging that energy, you get money. What if I told you that? That's because that's just what it is. We're on the, we're now in a timeline where God is just going to be exchanging money with you for whatever it is that you present. Meaning that, let me give you another analogy. Kai Sinat, a billionaire off of, or multi-millionaire, off of streaming off of streaming do you know why because i guarantee he did it and he didn't let no self self doubts or any other people's doubts get in his head and i'm sure many people tried to get him to stop but guess what he did not stop so therefore god bestowed abundance on kai you feel me whenever you do stuff that god tells you to do god will always give you more than plenty for that's why i said when you listen to god you activate your Christ consciousness, aka your chakras, and that's when your superpowers begin to come online, yo. If you resonate with this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to support this channel, yo. Circulate, circulate. Number nine is, you see synchronicity. If you are noticing numbers, then that's God speaking to you because God, the quickest, easiest way for God to speak to, speak to us, right, is through synchronicities, right? So if you're seeing one one ones, if you're seeing two two twos, if you're seeing three three threes, if you're seeing hell seven eleven, if you're seeing eleven twenty two, if you're seeing um like threes and fours, I'm talking about eight sevens. This, this is God speaking to you. It's because God is preparing you. God has to speak to you, and you have to be able to recognize the lingo. You have to be able to what's it called? Communicate. Because then God knows that your your level, your energy is heightened enough to where you can handle this. That is why God sees the biggest picture. You notice in every prophetic word or every book, that individual, the individual that's a superhero or that has powers or whatever, like su su uh, superpowers, right? Notice how they're always able to speak to the most high through synchronicities, through numbers, through situations, incidents, uh, current, uh, what's it called, uh, situations before before their superpowers activate on like a complete whole level. That is what it is. When God sees that you're able to relay and communicate, then God's like, okay, my child is ready. I must bestow on my child more now. I must trust my, see God wants to see if you're worthy. So God tests us first, which goes to my 10. God, on my 10th reason of how I know you have superpowers is God's been testing you. God has to test you just like God tests everything to see if you're worthy. Cause then what makes you more worthy than the next guy? What makes you more worthy than the next person? Let me go right here. Let me go right here. Better, 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 better. What that see, that's how God knows that you're worthy through these tests. God tested you at work, at home, through people, family, relationship, oh well. And then God. God make sure you're isolated so you spend an amount of time alone so that way you can learn yourself. If you're learning yourself, which leads me to my bonus. I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a bonus one, which leads me to number 11, which I wasn't supposed to do, but I'm gonna do it. Number 11 is, if you've been spending time alone, if you've been in your own energy, if you've been in hermit mode, if you've been going deep inside, if you've been doing the work, if you've been, um, if you've been being forced to go within, right? 
It's because God has been testing you to see if you're worthy of your superpower. Now, your superpowers is already promised, but you still have to finish up that last little bit. You still have to go through that last. It's like going through, you know, the, the storm. You have to go through the storm to get on the outside to where the sun is, to where, where, where it's all sunny. You feel me? That has to, you have to do that. That is what God's doing. If you, and uh, I'm going to give you all number 12, y'all. If you, <laughs> if you can't, um, if you can't be around like low vibrational people, if you feel like you cannot be around low vibrational, like just energy in general, then you have superpowers. The reason why is because your frequency, your energy is rising so high. So if you have to feel like, so if you feel like you can only listen to, you know, like positive self-talk, positive people, positive information, positive, like things that are higher frequency, then you definitely have to. It's just what it is. Lower frequency cannot handle this because it's too much. And if you make objects or electronics uh, malfunction, then you definitely, there's multiple reasons how. You ma malfunction, 999. You see it look like 999 right now. But yo, I'm about to wrap up this video, go home, do some videos, check out my new videos I'm about to post up today. Four videos that I'm about to release today at the same time, yo.